ever since I've lived here in the house, there's been little stuff that's been done to it that whoever built it, whoever's, you know, kind of lived here before me or whatever, that that should have been addressed, like little stupid things. But uh, this is one big stupid mistake that happened last night. Like uh, the wife was going to reach for some dishes here and this shelf was sitting down on top of the plate because it fell. This is why it fell, I'll show you. Like I've gotta change these around, but thank God, it's only in this section here, the others, they're saved, they're okay, they're done right. Look right here, I'm gonna to try to do the best I can to explain this, but right there, see this clip? Right there, this is the little end. This is the end that you push in and the, the shelf will slide down, right? Well, what's supposed to be down here on this bottom end is actually this piece here, which is the big flat piece that sticks out quite a bit and that holds the shelf in. So if you want to slide the shelf out, you would push the tabs down and lift up and pull the shelf out. The tabs that you push in to you know to take the shelf out are down here instead of up here, and then they've got the the big piece that comes out across that are supposed to, that's supposed to be down here holding the shelf up. What idiot? You know, and I've got to change. This one's changed out because it fell. It broke the little clips off because they're little tiny things. That's not even meant to hold anything for one. Broke them off, so got to change that one out. Got to change those out, or I did change that one. I got to change that one, that one, and that one. Thank God, all the rest, they're okay. So that's a big plus. Another big plus is I was going to register the Keurig uh, online, and it said, well, you know, thanks for registering your product and buying it, so we're going to give you a 50% off coupon off K Cup. And I was like, Oh my god, that's awesome, because you look on their side and you can get them by the box, by the 24 pack, or 22 pack, and they're kind of, you know, after tax and stuff, they would be cheaper getting on Keurig's site, but you gotta get $49 worth of free shipping. Uh, so, I packed in everything I wanted, I like big and bold, so I grabbed Tiger and Rev, uh, the wife wanted three boxes, so we got six boxes of like 20 something, which is like almost 150. K cups, and then I was able to also get uh, an accessory, which is the universal, like the uh, reusable piece that goes in there that you can put your own coffee grinds into. I was able to get that as well for like eleven ninety nine because not only was I able to use the fifty percent off coupon, I was also able to stack two separate coupons I found in with it, and I threw it away. But also that came with the unit itself was three dollars off an accessory or something coupon so anyway I was able to stack like three coupon codes on uh, I was also able to go through Ebates to get four percent cash back the goal is to see all this mess through here is to actually go through this and sell mm. It's so difficult to sell these things. And there are quite a few that I really like that I'm not going to sell. Like the Plantronics Bluetooth here. Um, these uh, V-Mottas here. The M100s, I think it is. Whichever one the best one it is, is that one. Um, this Sony's a Bluetooth one. I'll probably keep it, more than likely. I don't know, though, because I've got one there charging as well. And the Jabra. Definitely keeping those. Those sound fantastic. They're Bluetooth and they're the moves. I think Jabra Move. It's like the ultimate Bluetooth. I mean, they sound so good. They're on the ear, but so lightweight. You can work out in those. They're not really that water resistant, I don't think. They may be. Thus the move. But if they're not, just check. These guys, awesome throw arounds. Again, you can get these for nothing. I forgot what they're. Outdoor Tech. I think it is they're on the ear super lightweight nothing to them the Jabra's here these are awesome these are corded only these skull candy aviators I think it's the aviators navigators and aviators I have one of them's over the ear one of them's on the ear they sound great and they look beautiful I mean the bigger one looks you know bigger than that but they look beautiful 
These JBLs, nah, they're, I'll probably sell that. These are Martin Logans. They sound good once they're broke in, but they're super uncomfortable, so I'll probably end up selling those too. TDKs, they sound really good. There's old. These clips, I will never sell these. These sound just beautiful. They're awesome. Oh, here, they, here it is. It's, I don't know, but it's the bigger one, but they just look badass. And then the monster here on the end, I'll sell that for sure. So sell, 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 sell. That's four. Uh, these are actually throw around Amazons. Yeah, these are Amazon Basics headphones on the ear. These actually sound good for like 10 bucks, 15 bucks or whatever. So if you're looking for a pair to give to a kid or something like that, that's a good one too, but I'll sell I ain't a point in selling that. I don't be able to get anything for it. But uh, one, two, three, four, uh, five. These monsters are no in tune. Yeah, in. Yeah, incredible, in incredible or something. I don't know what it is. They sound okay. They're my monster too, so I'll sell those. Um, these skull candies. These are Bluetooth. Um, Probably sell those too, because all the rest of them are awesome. And these are Audio Technicas up here, but these are like studio monitors, monitors, so they're like really flat and like what you would just normally hear. And so are these. These are the same. So if I had two people over here and we were doing a broadcast here, uh, definitely. We I need that, but uh, I'll probably keep these too. For right now, these are the I think newest Sony. Uh, Bluetooth ones to come out. They're real bassy. I don't know what the number is. 950 something. But yeah, just weeding out the herd. It's kind of gotten piled up here and unorganized looking. And what I have for a shelf is just a curtain rod. So curtain rod, plain black, nothing special at all. Will hold a slew of headphones. And if you buy something specific for something, You'll pay like 10 times the price. No kidding. I paid like a few bucks for this at Tuesday morning, believe it or not, because in earlier vlogs I said I normally go by there. Well, I do. It's for stuff like this because you can tailor it to whatever you want it for, and it's not really for that. And, you know, this works. And and I put these close enough together right here so when I, whenever my, you know, I'm able to sell off stuff, I can shrink this curtain on down. And then I'd have like from here to here with, with headphones, like a little more neater, a little compressed. That's the goal. Every time I go to do something, look, updates, updates, updates. See, I've got my name, got sounds, our stuff is at the bottom, logo there, little PNG photo of a mic. That's me. He'll go there. His feed will come from Skype. And I can feed that in and manipulate that how I want to. I can just take, uh, I'm not going to do it because I got it all centered up and nice and neat and stuff, but I can just take my mouse and drag my uh, video feed anywhere I want to around here. But it's layered behind this picture. This picture has these cutouts in it that's not on this layer, if that makes any sense. And let me see if I can show you all. Uh, swap the layers around here I think I can yeah see I just put this layer in the front the video feed layer in the front you see how it come out around a little bit deeper remove the video feed back a layer and it goes right into the frame and it's just two separate layers with two windows in in the picture if that makes any sense to you whatsoever but uh, yeah this is the two cam let me show you the three and here's the three cam feed it's blacked out, but the stuff will go here. The guest feed will be down here. The inside will be across the top. I've got this blank where I can put in the guest name and the information, the links to get up to him. Of course, the full links will be in the description, but, you know, his at whatever, Twitter signs, and whatever he has will be uh, pictured out, whatever he's a part of, and his name will be there, whoever it is. But I've got a template for a guest, which is nice. So the framing will be, you know, here, my logo's at the bottom. I can change those out if I want to, to whatever we're talking about. If I wanted to, it doesn't matter. But anyway, me, Sam, guest. Boom. So if you do want to be a guest on here uh, to discuss movies or whatever, just let me know.
will work you in somehow. Whatever your um, expertise is, I guess, or something like that. Just uh, shoot me an email. I think I got my email in the description. But if I don't, it's not Zero's Reviews123 at gmail.com. You shoot me that because I have to have your Skype information. Get you in there. Probably do like 30 minute episodes, maybe. See how it goes at 30 minutes. Seems to be appealing. Sometimes if you go over that, uh, people lose interest and they don't even watch the whole thing through. So that's that. But all this said about headphones, there's still nothing better than the Vmata M100s. It's got a lot of bass, highs, mids, a mix of everything. And it's awesome. So spend the money, get it, and you won't have to worry with any of these. <laughs>